Here we are at beautiful Red Rocks Amphitheater, and our target birds for today are Woodhouse's Scrub Day, a prairie falcon, white crowned sparrow. I guess it's still a useful guide to be like, even if we don't see a lot of birds while we're out here, to be like, this is what winter birding at Red Rocks Amphitheater is, is like. So then people know to just like steer clear of that place unless they really need to see like <laughs> a bunch of scrub jays. Um, well, it's a really one reliable robin. place for scrub jays. So like, if you're a birder from Pennsylvania, mm. and you're visiting Colorado and you want to see, you know, Western species, Red Rocks is a great place. We're going to look for dippers. That's dippers. where we're going now. Uh, Morrison is Oozles. a great place to look for dippers because there's a creek that runs through the town. We just, so it's uh, it's like January right now, January 3rd, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, we just did our last uh, Christmas bird count of 2019 on, what was that, January 1st? <laughs> so we did our first Christmas bird <laughs> or count. Or rather our first Christmas bird count of 2020. Tell us, tell us what a Christmas bird count is. A uh, Christmas bird count is where you choose a set route and... Suffer. Uh, yeah, you can suffer if you want. And oh, suffering optional. Suffering <laughs> optional. Uh, and then you go and count all the birds that you see along that route. Um, and everyone in the city, or rather all the birders in the city, separate different routes um, by count circle. So there's relatively even coverage. Oh, make sure you go speed limit here because they will get you. They'll clock you, yeah. Are they using it for like science or? Um, yeah, it's been going on for some number of years that I'd have to look up. Yeah. And uh, now it's used to get an approximate show of population levels. So, you know, you can say, wow, we counted a lot more pygmy nuthatches this year than we did last year, but it does tend to fit, or it fits with the trend of an increase in pygmy nuthatches over the years. Anyway, they're always like, kind of, there's always like a bit of suffering involved in a Christmas bird count. It's usually freezing cold, very early in the morning, long hours, a lot of quiet generally because the birds are smarter than we are and stay out of the cold and the wind and the rain and the snow and the hail. Um, but they're also tons of fun. Are you tracking this as a new location? Yes. Okay. I heard a magpie when we got out of the car. Backfield magpie banding code baby mama. Even though we started a new list, this still counts as part of the uh, Red Rocks Amphitheater episode location. Yeah, we're only about three minutes away from Red Rocks, so I'm yeah, counting it. Yeah, certain, yeah, just, just right over that ridge, yeah. really. Maybe that ridge. It smells Can't. really good right here. No. Well, that's because... The cow is such a good restaurant. Oh we gosh. used to come here all the time. It smells like, like funnel cake. It, it does. does. <sighs> can you smell maybe, it? Yeah, maybe yeah. we should go in and no, get breakfast. The <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a great spot for American Dipper because it has freezing cold water that's still running. You can't just make shit up. I'm, they need like a little, you know, running river. Anyway, we came yeah, But here it doesn't for matter if it's before. freezing cold or not. <laughs> yeah, but they're like always in like freezing cold water. They're like up in mountain streams, places that like, it's a miracle. It's not just frozen over solid, but it's still flowing. And somehow and then the dippers are like jumping into it head first. And like, oh, this feels nice. What, what degrees is this water? One, one degree? Ah, oh, so, so uh, cozy. get cold just looking at him. I haven't taken many photographs today because all the birds are tiny and distant so far. But if we get a little oozel, definitely getting a photo of him. I would see him in like a pop up a, year. a description of what an oozel is and yeah. why you're using that term. <laughs> oozel. There's a mallard. Oh, a mallard. Several. Oh yeah. They're all headless. So Megan, what are the uh, dippers doing in this frigid cold water? Um, dippers forage for aquatic invertebrates. Ooh. Crawfish. And they really like sections of rapids. Why the rapids? Does the fast moving water have like more um, invertebrates in it? I don't know. Huh. I mean, it would be, the water would be a little bit more aerated. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's it might like be nutrient. slightly shallower. I mean, like, if it went right down there, that water's got to be a foot and a half deep. I don't know. You'll have to ask 
an aquatic entomologist. How rare would you say Amber is? Not that rare. I would say really rare, rare but only because I always uh, dip on them. They're just, sometimes they can be hard to see because they, they spread out in the winter. Yeah, and they don't really, they're not really like, you never see like a flock of different, you know? It's always one tiny little dark black bird against dark water somewhere. And what would you say their conservation is like? Well, if you're conserving moving mountain streams, then you are conserving dippers. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to check the Wikipedia. I bet they're Skip. one of those least concerned species. Yeah, high mountain streams usually have pretty good water quality and aren't usually impacted by your standard pollutants like nitrogenous waste from feedlots. Yeah, you'd have to take it all the way up to the top of the mountain and then pour your nitrogenous waste out and then you could get it at the dippers. There is evidence that uh, nitrogenous waste from the plains flows into the mountains because oh, wow. they're seeing a... Uh, you know, oh, there's a kingfisher. Oh, that was cool. What is that? Oh, it just flew straight by. Oh. Um. Eagle-eyed Megan. Just... Yeah. Oh, I saw its shadow. <laughs> just. Oh, Becky. Just... What, what was he? It was classi- a kingfisher. Just oh. classifying birds by their blurry shadow down the corner <laughs> of her eye. You know, I mean, some people, some people are classifying birds by their silhouette as they fly in front of the moon as they migrate overnight. So, like, <laughs> that's that's about the max. Actually, there's something I like to do called probability birding. You can also do probability bird banding. That's a discussion for later. And probability birding, you just look at which birds are normally there or which other birds have been, or other people have reported birds being there. And you can just like, you know, assume that those birds are there still because conditions haven't changed significantly. And so then you, you can put like a probability number by the bird, even though you haven't like seen him yourself, you know that he's present. That's like the point of it. Or you find evidence of the bird, you know, like an empty nest or, uh, I don't know, like scratching under leaves or whatever. You'd be like, yeah, there's probably, this bird is probably here and was probably here recently. <laughs> that, that's not a real thing. No, it's not. <laughs> Gosh, I keep seeing the movement under, the, yeah. like the water under the ice and it looks like a bird moving along. We're right next to uh, Willie's Wings, a really great spot to stop after a hard day of birding and just eat like Birds. hundreds of spicy wings. Yeah, eat some <laughs> chicken. Because you don't see chickens here, so it's not sacrilegious. <laughs> well, you don't see live chickens here. Ah, nope. Got a, got a friend these guys. What? Okay. Uh, uh, let's. Go back that way to the car, I guess. Right. And then we'll decide if we want to keep trying for Gipper okay. up the other direction. Is there, oh, okay. All right. Okay, so our new, current new list of targets was uh, Scrub Jay, which we got, White Crown Sparrow, which we missed, um, Prairie Falcon, which was sort of a stretch goal anyway, and we missed that one. And then we added Dipper, and so far we haven't seen him yet. So, you know, par for the course on a birding trip. We'll, we'll see somebody. I mean, we got, we got a bunch of species. What are we at, like 12 species right now? Uh, I think we're at 16. 16? Yeah. Nice. Megan, in your experience, birding is so much more successful. You see so many more interesting birds where you don't make a thing, just, just happen to go, right? You, uh, try to, you try to bring friends, you try to film it, and then suddenly all true. the birds are gone. Yeah, that's true. That does happen. Um, yeah, we've seen the coolest birds usually when we're like, oh, I don't know, should we go? It's sort of late. I don't feel like and I need to cook. And then we go and we see something really cool. Like short eared owls. Yeah. It's also like it's been nice all year. It's like 80 degrees or whatever. And then you're like, hey, you should come birding with us. And then like that day, it's like hailstorms and it's zero all day. And they're like, oh, I hate birding. And they're like, no, 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 trust us. It's fine as long as you're not with us. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Let's walk upstream a little bit. It's pretty frozen. Yeah, I saw the other day. You got the buddy? Right on the uh, rocks sticking out. On the, the rocks. The water. That Wait sounds like a dipper. We're down here. Oh, oh, there he is. He just went in the water. Oh, oh, oh. And he just came out. There he is. There's a dipper. Oh, yeah. Hooray, we done it. The dipper. There he is. It does, yeah. Yay! That's what they do, that's why they're called dippers. Success! Five species, one dipper. Oh, oh look at that. There you see his head just like in the water, but. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's great. We'll show that. We'll show that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a funny one. Alright, well, that was really successful. I'm so happy we saw a dipper. I don't think I saw a dipper at all last year. Uh, yeah. Look at him. Yeah. All right, should we go Woo. get a snack? Hell yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, okay, conclusion time. Conclusion, everybody. Gather around, children. Hey, kids. Um, all right, so this is our semi-successful, always very successful, uh, Red Rocks Amphitheater birding trip day. If you have any uh, questions about our trip, about what we saw, or the locations, or how to get there, ask in the comments below. Um, and I guess we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye.